Hello, hello, and welcome to Hitman 3. And our first location for our new game here is Dubai, and the mission is called On Top of the World. So, our first challenge for Hitman 3 will be Pick Your Poison, which entails eliminating Carl Ingram with a poison, which will also get us the Tasteless Traceless Challenge for poisoning one of our targets with poison. We will also get the Key to the Scepter Challenge, Discovery or Feat for getting the Penthouse Key, we will also get ourselves Silent Assassin Suit Only and Silent Assassin Suit Only. There is no no evidence challenge in Hitman 3. So today we will be bringing with us a Silent Pistol and some coins. That's all we're going to need. We're starting at the atrium on our second playthrough. So, right from the start, here we are in the atrium, and we are going to run directly up the stairs ahead of us, and around to our left, and around here we will find a few more stairs, there they are, and we are going to continue on up those stairs and around to our left, and we are going to trigger this conversation here, which is also a mission story. And that gentleman there being stopped at the bottom of those stairs is an assassin. And we can't be having another assassin around, so we're going to get rid of him. So first things we're going to do is run into this little garden here. We're going to select our coins. And we're going to throw one coin just over the far side of the bench, just off to our right here. And this young lady will go over to investigate, and we can then render her unconscious and hide her body in these bushes here. Uh, she is going to be in our way momentarily, so we need her out of the way. We're going to retrieve our coin once she's safely tucked up. And around about now, our assassin should be arriving. Here he is. And what we're going to do basically is exactly what we just did with that young lady, is we're going to get him into those bushes and render him unconscious. And the reason for this is that this gentleman, being an assassin, has a silenced pistol. <laughs> he also has a folding knife, and most importantly of all, some lethal poison. So we're just going to wait for him to finish his cigarette, lean across on the balcony for a brief moment before making his way over here, where we can then get behind him, render him unconscious, we're going to drag his body into the bushes behind us with the young lady. And then we're going to collect up everything he drops. Try not to trigger the uh, sound system that's on the wall just in front of me there you can see. That will attract other people and they will find the bodies. So once we have all of the assassin stuff, I believe that assassin is called the Vulture. We can then move on and we're going to head straight back the way we came until we get to the atrium and we're going to run straight across the atrium and up the stairs that are now ahead of us. 47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map, Terman. So we're going to ignore Lucas for the time being. And we are now at the very end of the free zone, shall we say. Anything, anywhere we go beyond here, we will be trespassing, which is exactly what we're about to do. We're going to make our way through the double doors ahead of us. We're going to hug the wall here. And when you saw on instinct, there is a guard in this area patrolling. And if I can get to the edge of the wall without going around it, we're going to subdue this guard from around the corner because in a little while he will be in our way. So we need him out of our way. We're going to collect the gun that he drops once he's unconscious. And we're going to drag his body into the closet provided, which is just down the corridor here past the hoover. So basically one of our targets frequents this hallway. And this is where we are going to eliminate him. So, 
that is our pathway now clear and as you can see our first target is a little way off at the moment we've got to wait for him to go through quite a lot of his routine so we will be waiting around for quite a while so he's going to go through his routine and he's going to come out from behind the exhibition area which is just up the stairs here as you can see he does temporarily stop underneath that light you saw there on instinct and wave at someone and if you feel brave enough that you can get a shot off in, in amongst all of these people then feel free to eliminate your target that way and that is our target just there in the shades and the open vest shirt so he is now speaking to the crown prince and when they finish their conversation he will make his way exactly along the route that I am now taking and he will go into this security room we're just outside of now and when he does we are then going to set a trap for him and his bodyguard because he is followed by a bodyguard most of our targets will be I'm assuming so far they all have so our target has finished his conversation with the crown prince and he is going to make his way very slowly over here and we are going to wait just behind this wall here so we're out of sight and we're waiting for our target to arrive he's going to go into the security room and he's going to speak to someone about a security replacement and when he goes into the room we're going to take out one of the guns we've collected and we're going to drop it right on the floor where we're standing pretty much just to our right so our target has now arrived and is in the security room so we're going to take out one of our guns drop it on the floor make our way through the double doors ahead of us close the doors behind us and we're just going to wait on the other side of the doors and eventually our target will make his way out of the security office he will spot that gun and he will get his personal bodyguard to take that gun away before he continues on and his route as I've already mentioned takes him down that corridor where we've cleared out the guard roughly where we are now so once the target makes his way through the doors we are going to close the doors behind him we are going to follow him around the corner and when he gets opposite the cabinet we're just going to pull out our silenced pistol and shoot him in the head Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore let's move on to Carl Ingram we're not done yet so target number one Marcus is taken care of so from this point we are going to run all the way through the double doors at the end of the corridor on our left and up the stairs and all the way around you want to just keep moving because there are a lot of eyes around and you want to grab the crowbar off of the side there just before we vault over and you may have noticed that I missed the crowbar I was actually pressing the wrong button and didn't realize so luckily we have some coins so we're going to take one of our coins and we are going to throw the coin off into the distance there we're just going to wait for this guy to lose interest because they will very nearly spot you even if you are moving as fast as you can so I hint I recommend using the coins and then coming back for the crowbar because it is safer than trying to grab it on your way past so once we have our crowbar and we are back on the uh, scaffolding gantry here we're just gonna wait around because the crown prince or the sheik whoever he is and his entourage do come past this area so I want to make doubly sure that they're not anywhere nearby and we're gonna wait for the guard to move over to the far wall before we vault over up onto the next floor we're gonna use our crowbar to knock him out make our way into the double doors on our left pick up the hammer and knock out the technician and then we're going to go and retrieve our crowbar and the guard and we're going to hide the guard and the technician in the closet provided there we go so once again being aware of the crown prince and where he is 
If he's not around, we're free to exit our little room here, pull out our silenced pistol, take out the camera on the wall, and make our way down the corridor to the door on our left. And we're going to use our crowbar on this door. And this will get us up to the penthouse area. And at the very top of the stairs, we'll find another door, but this one um, is unlocked. So we're going to go through that door and look through the door on our left, making sure we have a melee weapon available to us. And in here, we are going to knock out this servant type person. There we go. And we're going to hide them in the freezer. So we are now in the larder area behind the kitchen. And this is where our lethal poison will come in handy. So the gentleman we've knocked out drops a key. That is the penthouse key, which will get us our discovery or feet. And all we're going to do now is wait right here for this long conversation to play out. So basically there is a guard asking about the food and the chef ber berating the guard and belittling him about when the food will be ready and when it will not be. And what we're waiting for is the guard to finish the conversation and the drink he is now drinking and he will turn away and the chef will have his back to us as well which will give us just enough time to run into the kitchen prepare the dish on the counter and we will then need to hide behind the counter for the chef to finish taking his drink and make his way back to the cooker after chopping some vegetables although I don't know why he's chopping vegetables as we've already prepared the dish but once he has his back to us once again we can then make our way back around and poison the dish with the poison we collected from the assassin earlier on. Make our way back around the side of the counter because the guard will turn around again. And as you see, I turned the timer clock forwards there, which will alert the chef that the food is ready and he will finish preparing the food and take it out for our target, Carl Ingram. Now what I recommend you doing is not using the timer because it takes considerably longer but next to that timer there is a dinner bell. It's a silent bell and it's just a button but if you push that button Carl Ingram will come and collect the food from the kitchen himself and it, it's a lot less time consuming. As you can see I'm having to wait around for the chef to go through the food preparation even though I've already prepared the food and as you can see on instinct coming up the stairs is the crown prince so I've collected up the gun that I'd left on the floor as a decoy and I've hid myself in the toilets until the crown prince has gone uh, by the way dropping the gun here as a decoy does not work so I wouldn't recommend it's why I didn't really mention it I was hoping that when our target comes through this room he will get rid of his bodyguard because one of these two bodyguards will wait in this room and it is rather annoying so we can't get a good view of our target to eating his poison as you can see that the bodyguard came into the room saw the gun registered the gun and walked away and in the meantime our target has keeled over Soon there will be no more profits. And you need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. So both of our targets are now taken care of when we have ourselves the Tasteless Traceless Challenge. I do believe there is another assassination challenge related to this, but I cannot remember for the life of me what the name of it was. So all that's left for us to do is to escape. Now there are shortcuts in Hitman 3 but they must be unlocked and you have to locate them and so far I haven't un uh, managed to unlock any so we are going to have to make our way to the nearest exit which is in the atrium down in the lobby the long way so essentially what we're going to do is completely retrace our steps so we will need to use a coin distraction for the tech crew 
when we make our way back past them and we do need to wait on this gantry right here for an opening between the two patrolling guards who uh, basically meet at the bottom of the stairs as you can see there so one guard is now moving away and we're just going to wait for the guard who is stood still to move off to his left and when he's a safe distance because he can see through the stairs it is temporary sta uh, stairway and scaffolding we are then free to make our way down the stairs out the through the doors ahead of us and we are now back in public domain areas and we can run around unimpeded and we're going to run all the way back to the atrium and down to the lobby lifts so there we go there is our first hitman free challenge taken care of and you may have noticed none of the challenges popped for me I had a recording error. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.